You're tuning in to the Bueno Power Hour podcast. I'm actually doing this podcast on my headset while driving to the gym. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, I'm not at home and I'm probably way too tired to be doing this podcast uh, right after I finish with the gym. I'll tell you that much. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. And and it's just one of these uh, let's talk uh, podcast I'm doing today. Uh, a lot has been happening over the last few weeks, um, just for the fact that I've been sort of switching up uh, routines and I've been really trying to adjust uh, that life of uh, working two jobs. And yes, I work two jobs now. Uh, I am trying to make as much money as I can before heading back to California and am also still uh, slowly but surely trying to find another job uh, in Cali. And I recently was able to get a job at a Guitar Center. And what was funny is that Guitar Center was the first job I ever had that taught me how to engage with customers a certain way. And it, it's really strange how all that knowledge I've learned from my uh, old old manager, his name is uh, Guy Tickner. I don't know if he's around uh, today. I, I don't know what's going on with him. I uh, Last time I've heard of him, he had, um, he had to take care of family and may have had to step down his position as manager to, to focus on that, which is kind of a good thing. You know what I mean? The guy, the guy worked his ass off quite a bit. And um, definitely, uh, I definitely got a lot of influence from him just because he was really good at showing us how to <clears throat> communicate with our, our customers. And that was one of the things that I took away from uh, not only as – you know, uh, doing customer service, but uh, as <clears throat> doing, um, you know, just actually just how, how to how to engage with people, and I think that was the the best part about uh, that job is being able to communicate with people. And not the fact that I was uh, catering to to musicians with big ass egos. No, <laughs> that's another story. I tell you that much. Um, but uh, it, it allowed me to kind of understand, like, how shy I was and to sort of build confidence uh, amongst, amongst uh, uh, the, the people that I, I, you know, amongst strangers, really. It, it, it was a lot of, it was, it was a learning curve to, to have me talk to a stranger and get them to buy something that I didn't really believe in, you know. But I learned. I learned. I learned quite quite quickly how to engage with customers that way. Um, so it was interesting to kind of come back. And um, right now they have me as a seasonal, doing um, doing three days a week, um, part time, and that's all I can really handle right now. And um, it's it's a little strange because um, you know I've had two jobs in a long time, you know what I mean, and just just recently I started, started, you know, doing this double shift thing Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, it's a bit tiring because now my schedule is sort of adjusted. I usually go to the gyms uh, from Monday to Thursday and uh, you know, spin class on Saturday mornings, 
uh, that Monday through Thursday, it would be in the afternoon after work. And uh, usually I would go to the gym at 5 and leave at 6. Well, I have to be in uh, Manchester before 5 and then finish at 9. So I think that going to the gym late at night, uh, <laughs> nah, not, not going to do that. I, I'm, I'm too tired and uh, I, I don't think I would get anything done to tell you the truth. And that kind of forced me to make a, a decision whether if I should, you know, keep at my regimen or not. And, and for sure, I, I have. I have for the last few weeks. It's really strange. <laughs> really, really, really strange. So, um, <clears throat> I basically wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and to make sure that I got everything ready, uh, more like 4.25, 4.30, right? Okay. And uh, I, I wake up, get get ready, you know, make sure all all my you know gym gear is packed, <clears throat> and my clothes for work for both jobs. Uh, again, this is only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we got about four o'clock. Arrive at the gym around five, or before five, like maybe four fifty. And the person that um, does the opening, uh, that does the opening shift usually opens the doors for us around 4.55. It gives us about five minutes to get ready before we start, maybe at 5 o'clock at, at the dot. Um, and so I do that. I get out maybe around maybe 6 o'clock, 6.05, 10, around that area, maybe most of the time 6 o'clock. And I would actually go to the park and uh, meet up with Jen for some coffee and just hang out and play some video games before we... Um, have to go to work uh, at 8 o'clock. Usually leave out of the park, we hang out at a park, and we go in and, and we leave around maybe like 6.40, or 7.40 rather, 7.40, and then that's pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we go in and have our breakfast and we go we go uh, to work, clock in before 8. I do my eight hour, eight hour shift uh, four, till 4.30, and then uh, I try to arrive in Manchester at five, and uh, been ha I have been successful, which is really uh, <laughs> really strange. So I've been very successful on that. So um, yeah, uh, and and then work till nine o'clock, uh, nine thirty, and try to get that get that paper, man. Um, and I really am trying to save more money, and I really want to do that for sure. It's because it's, you know, I I just need to get that going, you know what I'm saying? I need to go and, and actually have uh, some money in my pocket, money in the, the savings, whether if it's, you know, for this uh, move that I'm hoping to do next year or, you know, have just some sort of security, you know? So that's kind of the story for me. Uh, the last few weeks, and I've been just trying to kick ass. However, um, what I had to compensate through all that was um, my ability to write music, and I haven't really written much over the last um, few weeks, and, and I, I just did a little, a little. Um, you know, skeletal like song for the month of November, and and I like it. I like the direction, but obviously it's gonna need a lot of work. Um, and so Saturday or not Saturday, but uh, hopefully this coming uh, uh, not Saturday. I was thinking like next Thursday, possibly Wednesday and Thursday, uh, I can go in and and start writing some more music, and so. Yeah, it's it's certainly strange. I can tell you, it's certainly strange how you know I had free time and then now I don't. You know what I mean? You don't have any free time anymore because I'm working. But uh, this this is uh you know, this year's coming to a close, and it's again it's really strange. I gotta tell you, it's really strange how quickly uh, things have sort of uh, have sort of have changed over the year. You know, I definitely have changed, and I've 
definitely acknowledged what I've went through uh, internally, externally. It's been such a crazy year, man. Fucking A, been a fucking crazy year. And <clears throat> I just hope, <laughs> I hope that uh, next year will be maybe even crazier. Uh, so I'm, I'm winding down this, this project, this project that I've had, uh, been working on for the whole year. Um, I'm hoping to get that sealed up, uh, to finish it and then do kind of the remaining things, you know, kind of a lot of touch up, maybe some reworking of some songs and such. Um, there's a lot of work that can be done these songs, that that's for sure. There's a lot of work that can be done on these songs. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> I've, I've already been thinking about how I can approach certain uh, sections of certain songs, how they can be changed. Um, I haven't really thought about the photography aspect of it, uh, unfortunately, because most of the images, well, all of the images weren't really thought of. It was just kind of just uh, how how I felt, and I take a picture. You know what I mean? And it's been like that throughout the year. Uh, I think it's obviously it seems like my my uh, my music has been worked on a, a lot more. It was, it was more of a prime focus than the photographs themselves, and you can definitely see that for sure. Uh, but I think it's just kind of cool that uh, I'm building a body of work in both fronts, you know, the visual and the, uh, the, uh, the sound aspect of this project. And um, not many people really care about it <laughs> or don't even know about it, period. And um, I don't know how I'm going to present it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I think that it's going to be kind of interesting how all of it works. So it, it's it's certainly going to be something, um, it's going to be definitely interesting how how uh, we, we go about it, you know what I mean? It really is. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, uh, as I'm driving towards uh, the gym, uh, I also wanted to let you guys know that listen to this podcast that this is going to be my last episode for the year. Um, I'm going to take a, a, a quite a bit of a break in the next few weeks and sort of just write out the last few weeks of this year and, uh, you know, focus on the vlogging and uh, try to build up uh, a queue of guests in this podcast. Um, it's kind of strange how I was able to access some of these interviews and it's kind of strange how... Um, you know, I was able to keep my composure pretty, pretty well <laughs> for some of these interviews. I mean, you're talking with like Lauren Engel, um, uh, and, and Sean Leary, you know, these guys are like right now, uh, becoming top tier, uh, uh, very, very ahead of the game, um, looked up to as inspiration. To produce work, and that's that's pretty fucking exciting, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, but I have a lot of uh, a lot of ideas for next year of how I kind of want to approach uh, the next uh, next batch of episodes. And you know, having January and February, uh, especially that the seasons that occupy those months. Uh, you can be sure that there's going to be a lot of stay-at-home um, situations, and <clears throat> I, I can't stress enough how <laughs> how it, it's crucial um, and and how important being snowed in is going to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I, I seem to have a lot of I have a, a lot of. Uh, I have a good time, um, for the most part, being snowed in, and I I can recollect from you know back when I was with my ex and we were snowed in, I was able to get a lot of work done, 
and be able to just, you know, uh, even even like create some ideas from just being uh, uh, snowed and being really just trapped inside of a house because you, know, you have no choice, you know what I mean? You can't go anywhere, you can't get any burgers or, or, or pizza, you know? Um, you're just at home trying to trying to just wait until the snow stops snowing, you know what I mean? So that that's uh, certainly going to be a crucial couple of months. Um, and I, I have so many ideas that I wanted to work with for next year's project. Um, uh, this, to be honest, this year's uh, black and white digital photography project didn't really go so well. Uh, I, I realized that I, I'm just not a fan of photographing digital as sort of a main output uh, to create body of work. Uh, maybe like later on, I, I'll have that. I'll have that, uh, but I just don't really have much subject matter to 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 photograph these days, and especially in uh, a scenery such as Connecticut and and where I live. Um, you know, digital photography doesn't really, at least for me, it doesn't really uh, translate very well uh, with the subject matter that I'm, you know, kind of approaching it. You know what I mean? I, I've learned that I can shoot digital photographs. I am definitely, you know, I definitely still have that 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 chops, you know, for digital. Photography, but uh, it's very minimal uh, type of photography. I've learned that, like my comp compositions have been very. Um, there's a lot of air to breathe on the images that I take these days, and uh, back then it was a lot more. Uh, 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 I guess I'm trying to look at this. Suffocating is not the word I'm looking for. Uh, it's claustrophobic. That's what it was. It's claustrophobic. And um, having that is kind of cool. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool to sort of see how my photographs have sort of changed. But I'm beginning to think that um, the body of work that I'm producing right now, because I haven't really photographed uh, seriously over the, over this year. It's... it's Really, you know, taking those Instax pictures is uh, giving me sort of a, a a rest as to as to all the images I've taken over the last few years and sort of just like taking a breather and um, really enjoy photography for what it is and without like really thinking about the technical aspects of how uh, an image is looking. You just take a picture and that's it. Uh, and that's kind of generally what I wanted to do for that project, you know, this project that I've been working on. I just wanted to have fun with uh, imagery and sound. And I think I got something. I, I think I got a, 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 a thing that I can use to um, use both mediums uh, for projects in the next, hopefully, next few years. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, it's it's uh it's been kind of it's been kind of crazy. Um, it has been kind of crazy, and um, I I need some sleep, man. I definitely need some sleep. And I when I come home, I usually like you know just talk to Jen and then like just pass out right after. Like I will eat a late meal and then just pass out. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just, it's just one of those things, you know. So. I just, I'm so tired, like, almost, like, every day. And I only get good sleep uh, towards the, the weekends because I slightly sleep in. Um, but even then, you know, like, I, my body has conditioned, has been conditioned enough so far to wake up in such a, a ridiculous hour and then sleep at a ridiculous hour. <laughs> and it's not good. And it really is not good. It's not good for my health. I, I can, I, I'm, I'm trying to weigh in uh, the benefit of waking up early and sleeping late, and I don't think there is. <laughs> I, I, 
I live a pretty, you know, I, I, I live a, a, a longer? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. But I, I do I do witness more hours in the day than I have over the last few years. <laughs> um, so waking up early in the morning, uh, certainly it, it's a practice that I'm still trying to adjust to again. <laughs> And 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 for good reason, you know. It's I, I used to do this uh, back when I was living in the Bay Area. I would just wake up hella early and then try to catch some light, you know, take a train and get breakfast uh, over in downtown. You know, um, that was my thing. I loved it. I loved doing that. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely favored that for sure. This was really strange. <laughs> It was really strange how uh, I'm kind of doing that again. But, um, yeah, so, guys, you know, I, I know that it, it's kind of a, it's kind of unfortunate that I'm not going to be uh, doing much podcasting this month, and there's not many more weeks left anyway until the end of the year, so uh, this will give me a chance to kind of reevaluate uh, the podcasts and reevaluate um, how I kind of want to upload all this material and uh, you know I don't know whether if I'm gonna go in in January or in February or something and just like these spurts of these episodes weekly and <clears throat> you know I don't I don't again I don't get a lot of chances to go and talk to these folks, um, they're some of these individuals that I'm trying to reach, or they're hard to reach. And I don't know if it's because of my reputation. I don't know if it's because I'm a nobody, but um, it's just really strange how these people haven't really, um, you know, replied back to me. And that's all I really want. I just want them to kind of reply back to me and stuff. So, uh, but I got I got a couple of things queued up. Um, or really planned, and I think that um, I think that the, the the podcast is gonna definitely gonna be a, a thing that I'm gonna um, really focus on a lot uh, next year. Uh, but I, I think I want to be a little bit more articulate on my uh, podcast interviews. I think I want to uh, answer better questions and. Uh, I, and uh, I still want to have a lot of fun in these interviews. I, I, I do generally have a lot of fun with them, and that's primarily why I'm doing it. It's because having these conversations with these folks is just, it's it's interesting. It's very like I don't know. It's enlightening because I I get a chance to kind of hear what they talk about and and just really engage with them in sort of a personal level. You know what I mean? So yeah, my uh, my whole thing with uh, podcasting is, is definitely I definitely like it. I, I think I definitely have achieved something that I've always wanted to achieve uh, since starting this. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you very much for uh, listening in. Um, again, I'm not going to have any podcast episodes for the rest of the month, uh, and nor will I. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any uh, episodes available for January. Um, you know, this is probably a good way to sort of reevaluate all this and maybe not rush uh, interviews so much like I was before. But if, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's previous episodes that I have uploaded on the YouTubes. Um, you know, you can catch me on... on uh, on more of these hopefully later next year uh if you like this uh you know this this podcast just go ahead and hit that like button and if you want uh more of these podcasts and videos that i i produce uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh if you want notifications of these uploads you can go ahead and hit that bell as well and as always um thank you thank you <laughs> thank you very much uh, for listening in. So, guys, have a good one. Take care. Happy holidays. <laughs>